How do? Chaingrave Games. Back again for a video. We will be comparing some uh, sprue cutters. That's what I like to call them, but you could call them something else. What we'll be comparing today is some bargain bin wire snips from Amazon. The Citadel bargain bin snips. Again, they, they do a better version of this, but not when they're giving out free options. And then what I got today from a company you might have heard of, I'm not sure. They're called Temu. Temu. Apparently you shop like a billionaire. If you've not seen the advert for it, you're very lucky. We're comparing these three snips. I've already kind of done a comparison between the Citadel snips and my bargain bin wire snips. And I thought the wire snips were a little bit better. But we'll see what these new Temu ones do, shall we? So I'm going to have to zoom in. We'll do some sprue cutting and we'll have a look at what happens. So uh, follow me in. So first of all, we'll be looking at the uh, these hardiest snips that I got from Amazon. Got these for a really good price. Uh, I'd, I'll try and find the link and put it in the description. But they have been really good for me. I thought they're narrow enough to kind of get into those little kind of tricky situations. Um, but they're sharp enough that they don't leave that much kind of uh, flash after you have a bit of a snip. But again, we'll see. We'll start cutting out some of the new Terminators from the Viathan box. Um, so we'll go with part one, if we can find it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's part four. Now where's part one? Can't find part one. So let's have a bit of a clip out of part four and see how it holds up. You see, I would consider that quite a smooth clip, but others might disagree. Where I think it doesn't hold up that well is uh, these kind of bits on the uh, flat sections. But if you look, there we go. Oh, whoops. So, if we have a look at that, what is it done? How much cleanup do you need afterwards? Not that much there. That looks quite nice. And not that much there either. That looks quite nice. And the only other section is the uh, the van brace there. Is it a van brace uh, called a van brace? I think it is. But that little van brace section there. So that's all you need from these hardiest Cheap as chips, bargain bin, electrical snippers. Um, and I think they've done quite well for me so far. Um, yeah, I've been pretty pleased with them. In some situations, they're a little bit awkward, but most of the time, they're quite good. So I'll try and find the link for these, if they're even still buyable on Amazon. That's where I got them. But we'll see. If I can find them... I'll put them in the description. Now, on to the next one. Citadel. So, we'll be moving swiftly on to the Citadel clippers that I got with my uh, subscription of Stormbringer. Now, I didn't think much of these to begin with, but I have been using them a little bit more recently, and I didn't think they were that bad. Um, I might have been slightly negative about how good they are, because... I had already seen uh, a review of them on another, uh, not channel, but another website. Um, don't want to name them, but it might have tainted my view of them, really. I don't actually think they're that bad now. Um, apart from having to wipe off the grease in between there constantly. That's a little bit annoying. But how do these hold up against the hardiest snips? 
well, we'll find out. So, back again to the Terminate sprue. Well, we've done them before, so we might as well do... What do we do there? A sword? We'll do an arm, shall we? We'll do an arm. So, we'll do this arm here. Ooh. See? Oh, oh, oh. And there we go, that's the arm that we've just done. So let's have a look at the, uh, what remains. This, not that different. I mean, it's done quite a good job there. They're not so bad, that's a little bit rough. Um, On the shoulder, that's not that bad. You're coming into that with a, uh, what do you call it, a, an X-Acto knife or a, a scalpel. You'll be able to smooth that easily. And you can just about see where the, uh, sorry, where the mole line is there. So make sure you, uh, you have a do at that as well. But that is the Citadel snip. So I didn't actually think that was that bad. I thought it was actually better than I originally thought. Um, these are just on the bits though. So we'll do another kind of comparison on thicker parts of the sprue in a second but for now i think the uh the cheapest chips clips and the citadel snips are on par but now we're gonna go to what i got from temu which i'll be honest i uh i searched for god hand snippers and these popped up so let's see what happens They look quite nice. They look like uh, Redgrass Games snippers, to be honest. And a little bit like the God Hand snippers. Oh, you get a little cleaning cloth as well. Very nice. And you get a little uh, Rui tool case for them. But that's also very nice, to be honest. Again, uh, I, I paid less than a fiver for these from Temu. Uh, whether they're good or not, we're about to find out. They might be absolute pants, but in the meantime, they look the part. They do look the part. So we'll see what happens. I mean, these might be absolute dogger, but they do look quite nice so far. So, let's cut out a little bit of a Terminator body with these Rui Tool snippers. <sighs> They've already got a hair on them. That's terrible. That's my own fault. I've got two cats. Right, let's do it and see how they, uh, they end up. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, I don't want to say anything too early. Let's... Oh, these are nice. These are very nice. You know what? I fought from like a cheap Chinese manufacturer. These won't be that good. I am mistaken. I am terribly mistaken. Oh my God. They were lovely. They were absolutely lovely to use. I can't comment on how close to the Redgrass Games snippers or the uh, God Hand Clippers they are. But that was an absolute breeze. They were sharp. They were really sharp. Oh, dearie me. They were really nice. I Oh, I am really happy with my purchase. Now let's have a look at these Terminator, uh, and, oh, right, so first of all, we've, there's a, the tiny little nick there, there's a nick there, that'll need a bit of clean up, but it's, 
that'll need a bit of clean up. Again, you'll always need clean up, but I don't know. I'm really happy with them. I weren't expecting them to be very good, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I, with how smooth they clipped through plastic then, out of the three I've got, I have to say they are probably number one. But let's clip some sprue and see what happens. So, what we'll be doing next is comparing the cutting ability, not just on parts, but on sprue itself. See how clean these cuts are. So, again, we'll be comparing the uh, Hardius, the Citadel, and my new Rui Tool clippers. And we'll see what happens. So uh, let's zoom into it and let's see what happens. So this is just a, a bit of sprue that I've already clipped the bits off. Uh, 2018, can't remember what it was from. Might have been Necron, might have been something else. Uh, oh, it might have been a Adeptus Sororitas. Who knows? But anyway, let's get these hardiest snippers out and see what happens shall we um that's just a nice straight bit here will clip uh and then we'll clip here as well right. nice little bit of sprue clipped off oh that doesn't look too good that lot Looks quite aggressive. There's lots of white. Apparently, if there's lots of white, that means the uh, the sprue was given quite a bit of stress on clipping. And uh, it's all white. Right. So, let's see what happens with the next one. Let's get rid of the hardius. And let's go on to the, uh, the citadel. Snips. We'll find another plain bit, maybe just here, and we'll. Oh, that was a a resoundingly louder snip. But let's start as we mean to go on. That was the one from before. Oh, there we go. So what we've got there is. Uh, it's a little bit grey to begin with, and then it turns very much stark white. So, but there's a very loud... Look at that. That was a squeezing. So these aren't that sharp, really, are they? There was a squeezing, uh, compared to the other ones, where even though it caused it quite a bit of stress, it cut straight through. There wasn't any of the squeezing. Let's have a look at the... I don't know whether I'm talking bull or not, because they look all right, but... Well, they're flat. I'm sure I did it that way, didn't I? Right, let's try again. Just another little one. Oh, should I do it there? I'll oh, do it there. Oh, my God, where'd it go? Oh, it's here. Right. See, that's... Uh, no, it's not. It's flat on that side. The side that's meant to be flat is not flat whatsoever. It squeezes it, which isn't good. You don't want a squeezing. So, I'm probably right. In my original review of these uh, Citadel snips. Um, so, yeah. Uh... When I said I might have gone in there with a, uh, a skewed perspective, uh, the perspective was right. Anyway, let's try the newest ones. Right. Shall we attack this from a different angle? 
we'll attack it from down here, shall we? Let's get our brand new Rui Tool Chinese God Hand Red Grass Gamer Snips fakes and give them a do. Oh my god! Can you see that? Can you let me put the snips down? Can you see how dark that plastic is still? There's literally zero stress put on that plastic. That's how sharp these were. Oh, let's have a look at the piece of plastic itself that I just snipped off. Again, a little bit of white. But, compared to the others, I mean, compared to the others. It's, it's night and day. It really is. Look at that. Trying to, it's night and day. So. To end this video, which would I pick? Well, to be honest, I think you know already. I've done examples of each one. I've let you see all the examples I've done. So which do you think I would choose? Would I choose the, uh, the cheapest chips, electric snips from Amazon, the hardiest? Would I choose the free Citadel snips I got with the Stormbringer subscription? Again, these are the free ones you get. You don't get the higher end Citadel snips. Would have been nice. Or would I choose my Rui tool, Temu, 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 Temu snips, which I found when I searched for God Hand Snips. These are beautiful. On the Temu website, they usually cost you about 16 quid, I think they were. I got them for a discount for some reason, not sure why. Um, they cost me less than a fiver. These are sharp, they are accurate, they won't stress the plastic whatsoever. I am more than impressed with these, to say how cheaply I got them. Again, I, I, the Redgrass game snips, I've been like, I shouldn't get myself some of them at some point, because they are beautiful, they are sharp, you know, they exact. And if you put your money into a tool, you'll get time out of it. Which is why I bought these not expecting to use them as long as I did. Especially when these came, I thought I'd be going to them instead. But I got these for such an absolute steal. I'm going to put the link in the description if you want some really good snips and you can't afford to get some red grass games ones or some god hand snips or any of the really high end ones get these Rui tool snips off temu download the app get them I, it, i'm not even what you call it being sponsored by Temu or anything like that. I literally got these because I looked up God Hand Snips and these popped up. And I've bought them. I've done a test on them. And they are beautiful snips. Feel free to prove me wrong. But that's it for today. Um, like and subscribe. Comment in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. Much love. I'll see you in a bit.